Hi everyone, I want to talk today about look-alike types and I'm talking about fives and nines. Remember this is the inside out Enneagram and so you might see similar behaviors on the outside and on the inside something very different is going on. So the similar behaviors you're going to see on the outside with fives and nines is that both of them can be perceived as withdrawn at times, somewhat aloof or disengaged, but what's going on inside is very different. Uh, both tend to want to manage their energy and can feel overwhelmed by too much energy in the room and maybe even a lot of emotional energy around them and what can feel like chaos, particularly for fives, it feels like chaos. For nines, it feels like discomfort and the anxiety comes from discomfort. Both can take time, a long time to make a decision or take action. And on a team, both have a tendency to either underdelegate where they take everything on themselves or over delegate but again what's going on inside is very different um, and both can take the role of the devil's advocate although um, with the five it's going to be much more contentious and with the nine the feeling is going to be like hey let's this is why they're thinking that way and let's just kind of keep the peace that's what you're going to notice that's different on the outside and so it's it's like with both of them it's kind of like golf play your own game and i'll play mine but let's go to the inside out. Fives are withdrawing in their head, into their heads to protect themselves from emotional demands. Nines are withdrawing in order to maintain comfort and calm. They get anxious on the inside when there's a lot of discomfort in the field. They pick it up almost like your, you know, your dog or cat can pick up if you're upset. The nines are picking it up instinctually. The fives, it's almost more of an alertness, like if they're sitting on a panel, uh, where I'm interviewing, in fact, it happened recently, I was interviewing a group of nines, and there was a five on the panel, and people commented how the nines' energies kind of relax, and they're kind of uh, talking with one another, and the five, you can could almost feel his containment. His, his energy was almost more pulled in, eyes more alert, all right? And so both because of the nines' tendency to give tasks equal importance, this procrastination gets really amped up if the task is about them. All right, I had a client one time say, no, I'm able to really prioritize. You know, I have children or I have a team that I'm working with and I know what needs to be done. And then I said, what if it's about you? When it becomes about you as a nine, it gets really kind of murky up there. It's almost like a cloud. For a five, a five is quite clear what they want and has no problem saying what they want. So with the nines, you can feel this kind of easygoing patience and a certain gentleness where the fives have no problem being, you know, contentious, uh, can be argumentative and um, real strong minded and will be resistant to the will of others where nines are going to be more easily talked into something that for the five, it's going to be harder. Now, I want to give a caveat with that. With a nine, you might go stubborn and you might not say no. You might say, well, maybe, well, we'll see. With a five, they're going to be more inclined to say, no, I don't want to do that uh, because they're not as conflict avoidant as the nine. And so it, both of them have um, these busy minds. Just because nines are a body type, it doesn't mean their minds are not quite busy because they are, um, but they tend to be more unfocused and they're more inattentive. Well, fives are laser focused on one thing. Okay, so the 919 described to me, she said, it's kind of like one of those lazy rivers at an amusement park. I'll be floating down the river and then that will look interesting and that will look interesting, while a five can get highly focused on what they want, on the detail of something they, they're working on and can really lose themselves in the details. The nines are kind of losing themselves in the meandering of their thoughts. That doesn't mean as a nine, you don't ever get anxious, but nines will call it like, I have like five obsessive thoughts. It's like a hamster wheel of obsessive thoughts where fives, again, it's this real love of details and concentrating where the nine might lose interest more quickly in the thing that they are working on. Um, so, Fives, you know, when I talked about avoiding action and avoiding taking action, the fives might avoid action as the internal processes are so interesting. While the nines avoid taking action because if I say something that matters to me and I do something that matters to me, it might cause conflict in a relationship 
it might cause discomfort in a relationship. The other thing going on on the inside is, again, recognizing this really big picture way nines see the world. I find that nines can make sweeping generalizations or do use like pithy little sayings, like it falls well that ends well, what you see is what you get, that kind of thing. That's almost a technique, unconscious as it may be, to avoid getting to the meat of the matter. So nines can sometimes be more challenged by introspection because introspection might interrupt my comfort. Where fives might be more inclined to want to be introspective, speculate on the problem, figure it all out, um, you know, try to work it all out in their internal processes to see how it makes sense, to see how it fits, where the nines again are going to maybe keep it like, like here. And that doesn't mean the nines aren't interested, sometimes even in more esoteric pursuits and, you know, spiritual pursuits. But again, remember this, it's about comfort. Finally, the nines can really more easily, I wouldn't say it's easy to communicate because some of them can be very shy, but they can more naturally kind of um, merge with other people, pick up the energy in the room and kind of show up and, and start to connect. Um, even if they may not feel totally connected, people feel comfortable in their presence. Fives aren't always going to get that. They're going to keep a lot more to themselves. You're going to see more of a containment of the energy. Where the nine energy may merge, the fives are going to be more contained. So if you are a nine or a five, you know, post below and tell us like how it is for you. Does, how does this resonate for you? And if you're in relationship with a nine or a five and you want to comment at all, make sure you be kind. There are real human beings reading this, and that's really important. I do delete comments. If somebody, if you're like attacking somebody of a certain type because you had a certain issue with it, that's outside in Enneagram. You're looking at them. Okay, what I what I encourage you to, to talk about, how is it for you from the inside out, being in relationship, given it your type, what comes up for you being in relationship with this five or nine? Also, uh, push below and subscribe to my channel, and then you'll get uh, updates on when we're going to have new, um, when there's new YouTube videos. And then also my website. I don't do tons of newsletters. I used to do so many more. But you will be notified of events and things that are coming up and some, um, some reflective articles. So uh, looking forward to hearing what you have to say about fives and nines.